All right, people, welcome back to the Blue Lounge. Welcome back to the channel. Lads, we have got we have got some more information in regards to Ivan Tony and Victor Ozerman and their transfer either to Al Ahli or to Chelsea. We have got we have got some more clarification. Yeah, and that is what I'm going to be discussing in today's video. We've also got some some more bits and bobs in regards to Jaden Sancho, Raheem Sterling. We'll get into that uh, at the back end of the video. But we do have some clarification in regards to where we stand as Chelsea Football Club in respect to Victor Ozerman and potentially Ivan Tony. Lads, I'm going to ask you to do me a favour. Smash the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Show some love, show some support to the Blue Lounge by subscribing and also by liking this video. We will be streaming again later on in the week. We will be streaming a deadline day special on uh, Friday night. So um, stay tuned for more information in regards to that stream. But let's get into the latest news in regards to Ivan Tony and Victor Ozerman to Chelsea. Okay, so this is a tweet from Ben Jacobs that I want to read with you. Um, it's, a, it's a mouthful, so bear with me. Chelsea are exploring several striker options, with Ivan Tony among the names. However, still no bet to Brentford as of Tuesday lunchtime. So as of today lunchtime, no bid has been tabled for Brentford. Yeah, hold that thought. El Ehli, the only club currently talking to Brentford and trying to move fast. Saudi side always uh, cautious of European suitors hijacking as reported earlier. The key bit here is this. El Ehli went for Victor Ozerman. They went for Victor Ozerman. They offered a package of around 65 million euros, which Napoli accepted. However, they were not able to convince Victor Ozerman, as, as it stands, to convince Victor Ozerman with the contract proposal that they offered him. So Victor Ozerman and, and Napoli um, are looking at it in a different way. So he doesn't want to go to El Ahli, but Napoli have, have agreed to the bid from El Ahli. That hasn't progressed, and El Ahli have now put in a bid for Ivan Tony. All right? So Ben Jacobs goes on to say, Tony has agreed to El Ahli financial terms. And said yes to the uh, to the project, but no fee has been agreed. So Ivan Tony has agreed to join El Ahli. However, Brentford and El Ahli haven't agreed on the actual transfer fee as it stands. So that's the situation. Victor Ozerman, Napoli agreed the deal. Victor Ozerman rejected it. Yeah, Ivan Tony has agreed the deal for El Ahli. But Brentford have yet to agree the fee with El Ahli. All right. And Jacobs goes on to say, CFC could yet turn his head should a late offer materialize. In regards to Ivan Tony, Chelsea will only advance if the fee is a if the fee is reasonable and Tony fits into Chelsea's wage structure, which is the biggest stumbling block when it comes to Victor Ozerman. Ivan Tony will potentially agree to a salary within the wage cap that Chelsea currently have. Yeah, so food for thought. Um, he, he goes on to say, and Chelsea still not ruling out a late move for Victor Ozerman. PSG yet to uh, reopen talks and the Nigerian striker prefers to stay in Europe. This could give Chelsea leverage if they are the only European suitor late in the window. Okay, a lot to un uh, what's the word here to unravel at this point. Victor Ozerman does not want to stay at Napoli. Victor Ozerman would prefer a move to a European club. Victor Ozerman, his wage demands are higher than what Chelsea are prepared to offer. However, we have got three days left, less than three days before this window closes. So the move needs to happen and it needs to happen quickly. 
Ivan Tony or Victor Ozerman. One of them, hopefully, will become a Chelsea striker before the end of this transfer window. Ivan Tony has agreed terms with El Ehli, but Napoli are yet to, um, to agree on the fee. Victor Ozerman hasn't agreed to join El Ehli, even though Napoli did agree on the fee. That is where we are today. We'll discuss that in just a second. I want to give you another tweet from Ben Jake, um, sorry, from David Oinstein in regards to Jaden Sancho. So, um, Jaden Sancho, this is David Oinstein. Jaden Sancho is likely to exit Manchester United before deadline day. Manchester United in talks with Juventus and Chelsea for a permanent slash loan deal. Excuse me. Um, Chelsea would probably need player to move the, uh, move the other way. Um, Raheem Sterling most feasible, but um, a lot must a lot must happen for that to materialize. A lot must happen for that to materialize in regards to Raheem Sterling joining Manchester United in order for Jaden Sancho Jaden Sancho to join Chelsea Football Club. We discussed this on the stream. A lot of you guys don't want to see Jaden Sancho at Chelsea. Jaden Sancho is a very, very good player, but he is not a player that we need at the moment. With the uh, current core players that we have, I don't think Jaden Sancho is, is, is required. So Chelsea making this move is a little bit, I don't know, um, it's a little bit mind-boggling. I mean, we have got a, a, a ton of wingers. Um, even if we were to get rid of Raheem Sterling, unless, you know, um, we see a couple of wingers departing in the next two and a half days, which I don't think will happen. I mean, it's going to be tough to move Raheem Sterling at this this juncture. So we'll have to wait and see. But it does look like there is actual interest in Jadon Sancho from Chelsea Football Club. And it has been reported by multiple journalists. Um. Let's discuss. Victor Ozerman to Chelsea, Ivan Tony to Chelsea, Otto El Ehli is still up in the air, lads. I can't see Victor Ozerman going to El Ehli unless El Ehli table a bigger contract offer to attract Victor Ozerman. Will Victor Ozerman accept the, uh, the contract offer tabled by Chelsea? It doesn't look like that is happening neither. Chelsea will need to... We need to make some, some amendments. The fact that Chelsea is also looking at Ivan Tony, I think it is putting Victor Ozerman in a different situation or a different position right now because he knows that Chelsea are not only targeting him. There is another very, very good striker that Chelsea are targeting, and that is Ivan Tony. So maybe his position has now become weakened in regards to negotiating for that higher uh, contract that he's looking at. Ivan Tony accepting El Ehli's bid, El Ehli's offer, also gives Chelsea an indication of where they can manoeuvre in regards to the offer they can put for him. What is Brentford going to accept in regards to the asking price? Who's going to put in that first offer? Is it going to be El Ehli or is it going to be Chelsea? And what is Brentford's the, uh, decision going to be in regards to that? As we've seen in the past, when two clubs are going for one player, that price can be inflated. That price could be inflated. I'm not sure if the Jaden Sancho move is also going to uh, have an impact on how much Chelsea are willing to pay for either Ozerman or Ivan Tony. But this is a developing story, and this story will be clear in the next few days. I think, you know, um, potentially we're going to hear something later on tonight, maybe tomorrow. But definitely by Friday, Chelsea should be landing one of these two lads. One of these two lads, Chelsea should be landing. And speaking about strikers, Romulo Lukaku is officially going to have his medical done tomorrow afternoon um, at Napoli. He has been given permission to fly out to Italy and get this done. So, um, yeah, I was getting a little bit worried there, lads. You know, it's been a couple of days where nothing has happened. Everything's been quiet. But Romelu Lukaku to Napoli will be finalised. Um, the deal has been completed. All the paperwork has been agreed. 
pending medical results, Napoli will be signing Romelu Lukaku and Conte and Lukaku can reunite. That is where we are. That is the, uh, the state of play as it is. I will be giving you more updates as and when they come. So uh, make sure you subscribe and turn that bell notification button on to keep in touch with all the latest developments in regards to Chelsea Football Club and the transfer window. I will see you guys in my next upload and I will definitely be interacting with you guys on Friday night for the um, transfer deadline stream. Take care, have a good one, stay safe and peace.